right, Lily, what are you reading tonight? What is that? What's that book? Muddle and Match book. Muddle and Match book is your favorite. And Maria, what are we reading tonight? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Illustrated stories of Shakespeare. This is one <laughs> of my five-year-old's favorite books. All right, so tonight we're just going to read a chapter from it called A Secret Wedding. This is part of the, the Romeo and Juliet story in here. The next morning, Romeo went to visit Friar Lawrence. The friar was a wise monk who made medicines and helped people with their problems. When, what can I do for you, Romeo? Friar Lawrence asked. I'm in love with Juliet Capulet, Romeo explains. I know our parents won't like it, but we really want to get married. Who do you want to marry, Maria? Uh, Daddy. Daddy, oh my gosh. I want to marry then, Mommy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Then I'll help you, the friar said kindly. When your parents... You guys can't fix babies. That's true. When your parents find out you're married, it might help stop the fighting. If you both come to my house this afternoon, I'll marry you in secret. <gasps> Romeo was delighted. He ran to the market square to find Juliet's nurse and give her the message. The nurse rushed off to tell Juliet what Romeo had said. She hated to see beloved Juliet unhappy. Juliet couldn't stop smiling. I'll tell my parents I'm going to see the friar about my wedding to Count Paris, she decided. As the clock struck two, Juliet isn't arrived that, at Mommy? Friar Lawrence's house. That's Juliet. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. Now here's Friar Lawrence. Who's that? This is Juliet. Romeo was waiting for her, and the friar performed the secret wedding at once. Isn't that beautiful? Look at these awesome illustrations. The girls are just loving this Shakespeare story. Mm -hmm. A two-year-old and a five-year-old. Let's see. Romeo and Juliet were married, but Juliet's parents were expecting her back, and she had to go straight home. So Romeo went to look for the for Benvolio and Mercutio. He found them in the market square, arguing with Tybalt's Capulet. What's the problem, Romeo asked. You Montagues are the problem, snarled Tybalt, turning to Romeo. You sneaked into our party, and I'm going to make you pay. I challenge you to a duel. <gasps> They're another having a duel there. I refused, Romeo replied. You know the prince said no fighting. You're afraid to fight, Tybalt taunted him. Don't speak to my friend like that, said Mercutio. Oh, so you want to fight instead, do you? Tybalt shouted, drawing his sword. Mercutio drew out, drew his too, and they started fighting. Stop it, yelled Benvolio. He and Romeo frantically tried to pull the pair apart. They were too late. Tybalt stabbed Mercutio, who slumped to the ground. Dead. Does that say dead? No. Dead. Dead. It says dead. Romeo was so upset, he grabbed Cur Mercutio's sword. Without thinking, he ran at Tybalt and stabbed him too. Benvolio stared in horror as Tybalt sank to the ground. Romeo, what have you done? He gasped. Quick, go before the prince comes. Romeo dropped the sword and ran. That's the end of chapter three. Super exciting story. Just read one more chapter. <laughs> In a little bit, I will. So that once they get to high school, they'll have these stories down pat because they heard them since they were little. So it's lots of fun. What's that one Again, called? illustrated stories, Shakespeare. What's that one called? What's that one called? Escape to Mantua. <laughs>